Hey, it's Rick with LearnDigitalAdvertising.com and in today's tutorial we're going to cover Data Studio and specifically we're going to look at the GeoMap feature and we'll go through some of the options for this uh, so let's just jump right in. Uh, we've got our little Data Studio sandbox here and uh, for the sake of today's conversation as I mentioned we want to add a map to our data so Data Studio this is pretty straightforward you're going to head up to the top bar in edit mode and switch and grab the GeoMap. And now with the uh, drag and drop tool, we can place it, which is a nice feature. And we're going to make this nice and big just so it's easy to look at. Um, so let's go through the different options and connecting this. Um, by default, with this particular Data Studio report, I'm already connected to Google Analytics, which is what I'm deciding to report on as far as location goes. But you can, of course, grab other data sources that pass uh, you know, relevant, relevant location information. Uh, as well, but we'll just do uh, Google Analytics today. Um, and we're going to go through some of the features because how you configure this, uh, you know, sort of controls that front end user experience. And it's a little quirky in my opinion. So um, let's uh, look at some of the features. So first is the dimension. Um, so by default, it's going to grab just like the uh, different countries um, throughout the world. Um, you can change that if you want to. So if you wanted to just look at a specific region, which uh, in the US, that would be a state. Um, you could look at cities as well. But the combination of your dimension and your zoom area controls sort of how that looks. So if you're going to maybe want to look at specific cities because you're a local business, you definitely want to set your zoom area to reflect that as well. Otherwise, you're going to see all the cities around the world, you know, that sort of thing. So. For, my, for the sake of this, I'm just going to assume that um, we're actually going to look at regions because I want to look at like state level data in the US. Um, and then I'm just, and you can see when I switch that, it actually changed my zoom area. It doesn't always do that uh, depending on what you choose. So just make sure that you're combining the right zoom area with um, you know whatever you want to look at. So as you can see, it's starting to look uh, kind of like I want it to. I want the US and I'm going to be able to engage with each of these states and get the uh, relevant metrics. So. Our dimension being the region, now the metrics we want to look at. So I'm always confused with maps. Do I report on sessions? Do I report on transactions or, or revenue or goal completions? Uh, the great thing that has come out recently with Data Studio is the option for optional metrics. So by default, we're going to report on sessions. But let's just say for a second, we want to also have the ability to switch over and look based on goal completions, if that makes sense for our particular project. Um, I'm going to switch over to view mode to show you how that looks right now. So as of right now, we can hover over each state and see the number of sessions from that state. Obviously, the state's color coordinate, you know, based on the, the amount of data there. Um, but since I had that optional metric, I can just grab this handy dandy selector here, and just switch over to goal completions. So now I can look at goal completions by state. Um, so one of the cool things about that feature, I think, is just that you can have multiple. So if you're not really, uh, if you want to report on multiple items and not have like seven different maps on your report, you know, you can do that with a quick toggle. Um, the next thing is the consideration for drill down. So I mentioned that our dimension was region, which is really defined as like a state in uh, terms of the U.S. Um, but let's say we want to be able to drill down and look at the uh, cities. I'm just going to go ahead and add city as a secondary dimension. We'll go ahead and hit view. So what this does, um, and it's kind of weird how it engages, I sort of feel like if you click on a state or double click or something, it should let you drill in. But what you have to actually do in Data Studio is select the state, right click, and then click drill down. So now once I drill down into Texas, I can see specific cities um, to look at. So that's pretty nice. And again, I can still toggle if I choose to between sessions and goal completions. So the main takeaway there with your dimensions is that you can have multiple drill downs. So you could theoretically do a world view and drill into like a continent and then drill into a country and then into a state and then into a city. Um, you know, you can build that whole hierarchy. Uh, just keeping in mind that you have to sort of have that logical hierarchy here and just be you know, just kind of consider as far as your dimension goes, um, you know, the right order of all that kind of stuff. I mentioned zoom area. Uh, we went through that a little bit. And again, you know, you just want your zoom area to match really what you're trying to report on. It makes it nice and easy. You've got your typical, um, you know, settings as far as like the date range goes. So you can set a default date range or just set it to auto, to, which will inherit whatever date range selector you have on the page. Um, and obviously you have your typical, uh, you know, segments and filters. Um, on the style side of the GeoMap for Data Studio, 
Uh, obviously, like a, a color selector and stuff all makes that pretty easy. And um, you could definitely customize it some more as far as text goes and backgrounds and adding a header and all that kind of thing. So these are pretty much the basics. The geo map is one of the more basic features. Um, and, you know, like everything with dashboards, you know, just try to really be mindful of, you know, what you're reporting on and what really matters as opposed to, you know, we do see a lot of dashboards where we're just looking at worldwide data when we're, a, you know, local car wash or something like that it doesn't always make the most sense. So, you know, try to keep it relevant. Um, post any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Rick with LearnDigitalAdvertising.com. Thanks.